All right, guys, so we are going to be applying what we learned about texture this week to typography. So we're going to be basically doing the same things as practicing, just getting that sort of applying the texture, using the masks, you know, get that skill sort of uh, uh, really well practiced here. And uh, what we'll do here is let's uh, well, just we're going to create um, just our background and some text and see if we can't have it interact with the texture here. Um, so I'll just hit M on the keyboard for my um, for my rectangle tool here. And I'll just uh, just uh, draw this rectangle uh, starting from the corner to the corner. And I'm going to go over here to my properties. I'll just uh, get rid of the stroke and I'll find the fill. I'll go over here to my color picker. I'm going to hit RG, uh, HSB here. And I'm just going to find a light color somewhere around here. Just really light. Uh, it could be, okay, that's whatever you like. I like that mint green, that's fun. Uh, okay, so with that done, I'm going to go back to my swatches and I'm going to make a new swatch. The swatch basically will just, you can name it something, but it doesn't matter, and just press OK. This will not be saved when you come back to it after you close it, but it'll be available and this will be useful when it comes to creating gradients later on. Um, let's go back over here to our move tool and grab this, Control C, Control F, and properties, fill, color picker, get over here to our HSB, and just pull our brightness down. And hey, why not just pull our saturation up some? I'll pull the brightness down a little bit more, make it real dark. Uh, okay, so uh, we've got our two squares, and we're going to apply our um, texture to the top one. So onto the dark color. Obviously, you can do this vice versa if you want. There's there's really no you know hard and fast rule for this. It must be the same thing. Let's go to um, window transparency, find our transparency, make a mask, grab the mask, uncheck clip. Hit M on the keyboard and then draw our mask on top of that. Um, fill, swatches, gradient. Okay, so black and white gradient. Now it's going here. I'm going to go to my gradient options. I'll just flip it over 90 degrees for now. So it goes from light to dark. Obviously, you can do this in any way you want. You can make this a radial gradient. You can do whatever you want here. Um, this is going to be easier in terms of the text. It'll make it make the guesswork a little bit less, um, less uh, let's see, uh, burdensome here. Over here to our... Effect, texture, and grain. I'm gonna get stick with my stipples, stippled look here. Press OK, and so now we've got this. You obviously from here, um, you can come back and tweak this. I'm gonna get my gradient tool here, and I'll see if I can maybe just pull this stop up a little bit to make the. Actually, I'll just double click on the stop here. Go over here to my grayscale and pull this up some. No. How about I just how about I just pull this up some. I want there to be a little more gray on the bottom, a little more darkness on the bottom here. I want to be a bit thicker here. Just move this up a little bit. There we go. I mean, obviously you can just turn this around. You can make this a, a, a radial gradient, whatever you'd like to do here. I'll just there we go. I like this. That's good. Pull this up a little more. Cool. All right. I like this. This is good. Um, okay. So make that whatever you want. Obviously, you know, you don't have to do what exactly I'm doing here. I'm just, I'm just uh, kind of experimenting with this. Uh, okay. So we're going to uh, go back to our normal mode and let's go over here to layers and just grab this little thing right here. Control, uh, and, and then what we'll do is Control C, lock this layer, make a new layer, and then Control V. And so there's this. And let's hit A on the keyboard here. And we should be able to just pull all this in and now we've got this circle the same kind of thing happening here and I'm just gonna shrink this down a little bit so we'll be on the keyboard here and just shrink this down and then what we'll do over here is we'll go to our mask and just invert that mask and then from our gradient tools here what we can do is we can then Grab our gradient tool and sort of drag this around in some way here. Here we go, yeah. Just sort of drag this around. Make this a bit more uh, standing out some. And the reason why we're doing this is it's going to give us some cool text effects later on. I'll just drag this over a little bit. There we go. And then you can just sort of pull this around here. And you can make you can make more um, 
more designs. You can make this a, a different shape if you like here. So this is just sort of like a little interruption to the um, to your to your gradient there. I'll just center this best I can here. All right, neat. Okay, so, so now we're gonna add in our text. So I'm just gonna add in random text here. Uh, I'm just gonna like just type in um, a few words here, I'll, and I'm, I'm gonna make them all separate separate uh, uh, things. So I'll just oops, no, let's click over here. I'll just uh, I'm gonna say take your vitamin D, take whatever you want to put here, take. Your vitamin Okay, so with that done, um, I can then go through and just change their the font to something else. So I, I downloaded a few fonts here. You can go to you can go to um, uh, you know, dafonts.com or any free font and just download whatever font you'd like here and, and see. But you want definitely a chunky sans serif font, one that's very thick. Uh, I think maybe some like something like Georgia might work too, but something that's going to be real thick because you're, we're, go we're going to apply this grain to it as well. So I found this thing called Akira Expanded on Dafont, which is, you know, based off of this movie that came out uh, back in the you know, 80s. So you, you, can, you can check that out if you'd like, but here we go. I'll just change all this stuff. Akira. Okay, so let's take a look and see where all these things are being going to be placed here. Uh, I'll just um, line everything up here in the center. Okay. Get my alignment. Where's my alignment stuff at? Um, let's go to window and align. And I'll just align this to the artboard. So we'll center this here. Center this here. Okay, so I'll just pull these up together so they're all kind of interacting with the artboard itself. So, hey, it's not everything here. That's good. Okay, cool. Take your vitamin D. All right, so I'm going to just real quick eyeball this to kind of get everything fitted the same here. Um, this obviously is a kind of a, there we go. There's that. I have vitamin D a little bit smaller. I won't be. I won't make D be the size of everything else. I'll just make it just a little bit bigger here, just to kind of fit in. Let's see if I can't make it. I have like maybe extend the same distance away from the circle as the top top part is. Um, okay, so let's uh, grab this. Now, what we're going to do here is we're just going to make everything into an outline here. So let's go to um, uh, type, create outlines. And um, we'll do the same thing here. Let's go over here to fill, and let's uh, make this one say, for instance, our uh, light color here. I didn't make a. I didn't make a thing of a dark color here. Let me just real quick um, go over here to this eyedropper tool, and just click on that, and make this a swatch. Okay, there we go. Good. Um, so I'll just make this the light color, and then um, we'll make a copy of it. So Control C, Control F. And then make a make this the dark color, and then make our mask. Uncheck clip, grab the mask. I'm on the keyboard here, and we should be able just to create the mask, apply the gradient here, and then go over here to uh, effect, and it should be the first apply grain. Just should be there. Uh, okay, so let's sort of see where everything is sort of positioned here. So we've got um, uh, Tina. I'm going to make this a radial gradient. Let's go to fill. Let's go to gradient options. Let's make this a radial gradient because it starts dark here and then ends light. I think we we could we could do something fun if we made it start off dark and then end light here. So you can kind of see it's sort of like emerging from the grain. And because there's these slight differences, we can um, we can kind of take this to be, um, um, we can take this to uh, kind of a, a, a match, you know, match up our various uh, 
we can create some fun effects here. Uh, make it seem like if it's emerging from the grain. So the T and the E kind of pop out because they're light on dark, and we and the A and the C are kind of popping out because they're light, they're 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 dark on light. Um, so I made my gradient tool here and just sort of expand this out some. I'm pull it in a little bit. And sort of pull this stop a little bit further this way. So experiment with that, see how that looks. All right, looks kind of cool. Um, for this one, in the middle here, what I'll do is I'm just going to, because it's so, okay, back to normal, um, because it's so, um, you know, like a, in the midst of a bunch of different changes here, I'm, I'm just going to create a single um, gradient on top of it and then sort of apply a, a, a small grain here. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm, I'm just going to um, uh, go ahead to go to... Um, Type, uh, create outlines. So it's Shift Control O, uh, and then um, I'll change it to the uh, to a gra to a gradient here. And note, well, so here we go. I can't really do that. So um, notice that um, what what happens whenever you apply a gradient to like a, a compound path, it just takes all the different compounds, all the different closed paths, and applies the gradient evenly here. So we can't really do that. So I'll just click on this, uh, and then I'll make a copy of it. Control C, Control F. And then what we'll do is we'll just make this the darker color here, and then we'll make the mask, uncheck clip, draw a little rectangle here, apply the gradient, and we can just kind of keep it like that. I'll uh, maybe change this to like 90 degrees or so. And get my gradient tool here and try to like expand this out some so it's a little less Take your all right. Go back over here, all right? And so you can obviously you can make whatever you want as far as your text goes. Be on the keyboard, grab this because this is in sort of a lighter area. I think I'll do the same thing as I did with take. Uh, I'll grab vitamin D. I'll just uh, create outlines. Uh, Shift Control and O, not L O, and then um, we'll go over here to our fill. I'll make it the lighter color. Uh, control C, Control F. Go over here, make it the darker color. Create uh, our make our mask. Uncheck clip. Grab our mask. M on the keyboard. Create our mask there. Create the gradient. I'm going to change it to radial. I'll reverse it and see how this goes. And I'll go to effect, apply grain. Like that. It's kind of looking neat. Maybe I'll reverse it again. And let's um, get a gradient tool here. I'll just expand this gradient out some. You know what? No, I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll reverse it again. I'm just going to pull this in some. I'm just experimenting with this. Obviously, you, you just do what you think is looks good. So this is kind of neat. I can I still see the V kind of coming in. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's like totally easy. It's really easy to see the the two eyes there. I think the eyes are a little bit I kind of like my little weak link here. I think I'll just make them slightly darker. Maybe I'll just go over here to my grain and I'll just bump up my intensity. Okay. So it raises the T there. Okay. I'll just I'm just leave it there. Right? That that's that's fine. Maybe I mean just do this number here. I can just grab it and pull it this way. And expand it really far by 10 million. Okay, this is taking too long. Just do your thing there. Uh, and there we go. 
Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, <laughs> Alright, and then finally, what, okay, what we'll do here is we'll just come back and we'll just grab the D and we'll, we'll, we'll um, make the D the, the same deal, right? We'll just go to Shift Control O, uh, create, make the outlines here, light, copy it, Control C, Control F, dark, make mask, clip, grab, M. And this should be pretty straightforward. Uh, go to your gradient, linear, I'll make it 90 degrees. And we can, in fact, apply a gradient. And it's sort of growing out of there. Get the gradient tool here. Let's see how this looks. good cool and you can just sort of experiment with this when it comes to like creating like the different like gaps in your in your um uh in your mask here so say for instance I, I go over here to normal i get my vitamin d here i click on my mask and you notice that whenever like the it's it's totally black uh you uh you, you don't see the mask so if i were to say for instance uh draw like a random rectangle here on my mask like so and just like um change it to like pure black here that would just have that show through and i could just randomly pick a you know random letters here to kind of like uh, uh show through here so we just do the same thing over here and um and then over here like say for instance for your i could just grab one of the one of the letters over here under your go over here to this and um i can make a mask so I've got this, um, oh yeah, so over here with this, and I can just, uh, once again, just grab this guy here, just make a mask here, like so. And I can even, like, apply grain to this one, effect, apply grain. And then now that's, that's sort of, like, shimmering out there with, with, the, with the grain on it. I can make it a gradial gradient. I could uh, pull my gradient tool off to the side, make this look a little funky. Slightly grainy. So what do we like to do here? All right, neat. So um, there we go. We've got our uh, we got a little typography here with this uh, grain. Um, you can like kind of experiment with what looks better, what looks you know what what, what do you think you know what what you think uh, would work. Better. Say, for instance, if this thing was reversed, what would that look like? If I went over here and just reverse this this gradient here, would that look better? That's kind of cool. I have a gradient tool here. I'll expand this out some. That's kind of cool looking. I think that. Uh, so, yeah, cool. I like that. Um, all right, so just whatever message you want to put out there, whatever color scheme you want to put out there, whatever shape you want to put in the background, whatever, like, you know, way you want to d decide to mask things out, I'll save this. And uh, I'll just um, uh, go ahead and export it. We'll just cancel this real fast to save this something different. We'll save, and we'll save it as like texture, you know, type. And uh, go to OK, and just, just export this as a JPEG for screens. Make sure it's the JPEG 100. Call it uh, grain typography, last name, and submit that. Cool. Okay, so we see you guys produce. I'll see you guys in class.